I would like a uh, ticket to Bountiful, please. Where? To uh, Bountiful. I can sell you a ticket to Harrison or to Cotton, but there's no Bountiful. Hello again, my friends. Thanks for joining me for another video. And if this is your first time here, a very warm welcome. Before we get started, please kindly take a moment right now and click that subscribe button and notification bell so you can be notified of every time I upload a new video. And also please watch this video to the end to see some behind the scenes photos and the preview trailer. She has a serious heart condition that might be real serious for her to be left alone. I don't think she has any money and I'd like to find... The Trip to Bountiful is a drama movie. It was released in the USA in 1985 and it stars Geraldine Page. And Miss Page won one Oscar for this movie. And some of her co-stars were John Hurd, Rebecca De Mornay, and others. The movie is about in 1940s Texas, an elderly woman is determined to visit her childhood home one last time. And now for some behind the scenes trivia and tidbits. Horton Foote at first would not allow another film version of his play because he didn't want anybody to play Carrie except Lillian Gish. He later agreed but only if either Geraldine Page or Kim Stanley played Carrie. And Geraldine Page's actual twins sons appear in this film. They are standing behind her in line at the bus station as she purchases a ticket. And Carlin Glynn, who played Jesse May, is married to director Peter Masterson. They are the parents of Peter Masterson Jr., who played the newspaper boy, and Alexandra Masterson, who played the drugstore waitress, and also of the actress Mary Stewart Masterson. And the fictional town of Harrison, Texas was based on Warthton, Texas, the hometown of playwright Horton Foote. And although the movie takes place in Houston, Texas, the film was shot in Dallas, Texas. And in the same year that Geraldine Page won the Academy Award for this film, Anne Bancroft was nominated in the same category for her acting as Mother Miriam Ruth in the film Agnes of God. Page played the same role for over 599 times and also received a Tony Award nomination for a Broadway play version of Agnes of God. And upon presenting the Best Actress Oscar to Geraldine Page in 1986, presenter F. Murray Abraham declared, and I quote, I consider this woman to be the greatest actress in the English language, unquote. And just seconds after F. Murray Abraham declared her the winner of the Best Actress Oscar, the audience, including her fellow nominees in the category, broke out into an uproarious standing ovation. Everyone except Geraldine Page was on their feet as she had kicked off her shoes while waiting for her category to come up and had to find them and put them back on. The rousing ovation lasted beyond the moment she got to the podium and held her Oscar, a momentous honor to a legend of both stage and screen. And with this performance, Geraldine Page became the first person to win an Oscar and an Independent Spirit Award for the same film. And sadly, Miss Geraldine Page died only one year and a half after winning her Oscar for this film. I am not going to spend the rest of my life running after your mother. I think we ought to just turn this whole thing over to the police. I said to my papa once after our third crop failure in a row, whoever named this place Bountiful, said his papa did. Because in those days, it was a land of plenty. You just drop seeds in the ground and the crops would spring up. That's the 
Lord's just with me today. <laughs> I wonder why the Lord's not with us every day. Sure would be nice if he was. As an elderly woman determined to get back to her childhood home, I have made myself one promise to see my home again before I die. Ladies, no, I... Geraldine Page in a trip to Bonneville. I consider this woman the greatest actress in the English language. The winner is Geraldine Page in a trip to Bonneville. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you come back to see the next one. I'll be here waiting for you. If you enjoyed this, please kindly give me a like, share with others, comment below, subscribe if you haven't already, and don't forget you need to click on that notification bell so that you can be notified of every time I upload a new one. So thank you so very much for stopping by again and sharing this moment with me and this time that always passes by so quickly. I can't wait to do the next one for you. So until we meet again, please be safe and be blessed.